Hey guys! So for today's video, we are going to be filming a Q&A. As you notice, we're on our elementary school playground. We're on the basketball court, as you can tell. So we're sorry for not posting for a while. It's just been really hectic right now. And basically what we did is we posted on our Instagram and we asked you guys questions and we'll be answering them right now. So let's get into the video. question is what slash who got you guys into rhythmic gymnastics so basically what happened is I'm not sure a family friend told my mom or if she found it somewhere on social media but my parents found out that my coach who participated in the world championships and got a br some bronze and silver medals in certain apparatus and they thought it was really cool and they found her gym, which is Fitness Elite. And so they took me there and I liked it. So we stayed and, and I came. Vika came because I was already there. So yeah. The second question is favorite gymnast. My favorite gymnast is, I would say Dina Vanina. I really like her style and her expression. And also I really like Lala Kamanianka because she has very beautiful lines and she has amazing turns. Okay, so like from a certain point of view, I like Dina and Arina because it, like they've won a lot of medals, they have really good tosses, mastery, stuff like that. Technique. But from other points of view, I literally like all gymnasts. I think Daria Trudnikova is really pretty, like in just in general, she's just really pretty. I like Vlada Nikolchenko, I like Anastasia Sal. Oh yeah, I like them too. I like Alina Gernasko. The next question is have you ever wanted to quit rhythm gymnastics i was kind of thinking about this because i was having a hard time with stretching and putting all the work in and that was on my second year of level four because we had some of the same routines and i was getting bored of the routines and i wasn't really enjoying rhythm gymnastics but i just decided to stay and i went through the year and then level five it was started getting better and now I'm level eight. I think that there are really hard times, like not like hard times, but like you can't get a skill or yeah. you can't catch a toss or you just do really bad at competitions and you're like, what's the point of doing that? I might as well just quit. Like there are times yeah. like that all the time, but in the end, like, of course we're not quitting and we're not planning to anytime soon, but yeah, we have wanted to quit our G quite often. What? is your favorite year of doing gymnastics? I think my favorite year would have to be level six because I was doing them. Like I pretty much like I practiced a lot and I was really confident in what I was doing. And I had the confidence to go out and do like perfect and clean routines. So I not only did I like how I was physically performing, but at the same time I got lots of rewards and I, um, ended up qualifying to JOs, which was like yeah. a big achievement and was one of like my dreams to qualify to nationals and I also won nationals, which was also yeah. a big goal of mine. So like awards wise, I really like level six and even though the season hasn't happened yet, I really like my routines planning to, for level eight. So I'm really excited yeah. to compete with those. I probably like all the years of what I was doing gymnastics. But I think level six was also a really good year for me. I think I just started getting the hang of doing gymnastics and also handling school at the same time. I thought I was kind of getting more mature routines instead of those little like, not baby ones, but I would say kind Kitty. of kitty ones. And now I also really, really liked my routines on level seven, but we didn't get to compete with them much. We only competed in three competitions, but I also really loved them and I'm looking forward to this season. The next question is, if you could meet any gymnast, who would you meet? And um, we're trying to film a video here. So I would want to meet Katerina Sinisnova because she um, has been doing gymnastics for a while now under the old code of points and the new code of points so she knows a lot and is very experienced as well as she's really really pretty. I would probably meet Margarita Mamoun because she is number one experienced and also I really 
liked her style and her expression and her routine. So the next question is, what is your favorite apparatus? My favorite apparatus is probably clubs. I like that there's so many different ways to move it. You can do mills, you can do flips, and I enjoy using them. I would say my favorite apparatus is ribbon because it's long and it, it's really pretty and elegant as well and it's like what rhythmic gymnastics is known specifically for because everybody's always like do you do the ribbon <laughs> So the next question is if you could choose a country to go to where would you choose? I would probably choose anywhere in Europe but specifically Greece I mean because I've really seen how pretty Greece is from like pictures and like videos of other people yeah. going to Greece and I think it's a fun place to visit because it has beach like it just seems really interesting and there's also a lot of like history behind it so I think you go to a lot of museums and stuff too but also going back to Italy yeah. um, we went to Italy last year in summer and we were supposed to go this year we were supposed to go to Sicily and Rome but obviously with the coronavirus everything got cancelled so yeah I think I would go to Russia just because I, my mom is from Russia and I've seen a lot of cool places to go to and she's told me a lot about it so I thought it would be like really pretty to go there but I don't know if that's gonna actually happen. That is it for today's video. We hope that you found a little bit more like about us and, and stuff we, we like. Thank you so much for 400 subscribers. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And we're going to get back on uploading and posting videos. Sorry for the long break, and we'll yeah. see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.